I just saw the most amazing movie. Yeah, me too. Wait, how many theaters do we have in this house? You saw an amazing movie? Mine had to be better because I saw Godzilla. Well, my movie was better because it had King Kong. But Godzilla is the king of the monsters. But everyone knows it's King Kong, not King Godzilla. Godzilla could easily defeat King Kong. No way, King Kong is so much better. Godzilla's bigger and stronger. King Kong is faster and more maneuverable. Oh, but can King Kong shoot death rays out of his mouth? Godzilla can. King Kong doesn't need bad breath death rays because he can grapple and punch. Oh yeah, Godzilla's so scared of getting punched by an oversized monkey. Well, Godzilla can't even punch because his arms are too short. He has to cheat by using death rays. Check this out. What we have here is the perfect killing machine. What, you just carry a model of Godzilla around? Here we have size, strength, we even have body armor, and big, sharp, pointy teeth. Oh yeah, well check this out! The perfect killing machine! What, you just carry a model of King Kong around? Look, he's got muscles, fists, long arms, and big, sharp, pointy teeth. <laughs> Ha! Look how small he is compared to Godzilla. That just makes him more efficient. He can get to places where Godzilla can't even fit. Oh, you mean like when he's hiding from Godzilla? Kong doesn't back down from any fight. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ah! Ah! Oh, they're fighting. Get him, Godzilla. Get him. Get him, Kong. Use your death punch. Godzilla, use your tail! Kong! Yes! Godzilla is triumphant! Well, I'm just gonna put on his extra angry head. You can't do that. You lost. Stupid Jillian thinking Godzilla's better. We'll show her. I'm right here. I can hear you. And so can Godzilla. You're just secretly scared of King Kong. <laughs> Why would I be scared of some stupid 40-foot tall gorilla? Oh yeah? Well, what do you think of this? Uh, I get the feeling you were supposed to show me something when you said that. Huh? Oh yeah, wait, give me a minute. Well, what do you think of this? Ah, King Kong! Haha, <laughs> so you were scared. It was me all along. You think you're so smart scaring me with your stupid monkey mask? We'll show her. I'm right here. I can hear you. Oh yeah? Well, what do you think of this? I get the feeling you were supposed to show me something when you did that. Huh? Oh, sorry. Wait a minute. Ugh. Oh yeah? Well, what do you think of this? Ah, Godzilla! Ha ha ha. So you were scared. It was me all along. You think you're so smart stealing my mask idea? I am so smart, and I didn't steal your idea. You literally put on a mask, just like I did. You wore a monkey mask, I wore a Godzilla mask. That wasn't even Godzilla, that was a Jurassic Park mask. Well, at least my mask was scarier. King Kong's just a cuddle monkey. He is not a cuddle monkey, you take that back! Never! Oh yeah, well, Godzilla's just an oversized Geico Gecko. You wouldn't say that if he were here. Well, he's not, so I guess we'll never know. You'll see. Wait, is that a threat? Watch this! Okay, I have to admit that was a pretty good impression, but what's your point? Just you watch. Jillian, what did you do? I may have kind of, sort of, summoned Godzilla? <laughs> Uh, yeah. I'm gonna move back a bit. Me too. So, what do you think of that? Hmm. Actually, he seems a lot smaller in real life. Yeah, you know, they say the camera adds about 40 feet of height. Okay, Jillian, you made your point. Godzilla's pretty scary in person, but he's still no King Kong. 
Dad, you hurt his feelings! Who knew Godzilla could be so sensitive? Apologize to him. No, I refuse. And by the way, he's trespassing! If you don't apologize, I'm gonna have him stomp on you. Oh yeah? Two can play at that game. What are you gonna do? Stomp on him? No, something better. That was a pretty good impression, but what's the point? Just you watch. Addy, what did you do? I might have kinda sorta summoned King Kong. <laughs> So, what do you think of that? He seems a lot smaller in real life. Yeah, they say the camera adds about 40 feet of height. <laughs> Alright, Addy, you made your point. Kong is pretty scary in person, but he's no Godzilla. <laughs> oh, you hurt his feelings. Who knew that King Kong could be so sensitive? Apologize to him. No, I refuse! And by the way, he's trespassing! If you don't apologize, I'm gonna have him stomp on you! Oh yeah? Well, I think Godzilla's gonna have something to say about that. Ha! Huh, Godzilla couldn't stomp Kong if he tried. Oh yeah? Well, they're both here, so what are we waiting for? GET HIM! Get him! Look out! No! That's the way! No! Julian, why did they stop fighting? Maybe they realized we're the ones they should be angry at. Well, I guess that's all over for us then. Goodbye, Julian. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Let's not give up so fast. Why not? We're outnumbered. There's two of them and two of us. We're not outnumbered. Well, we're outclassed. Have you noticed? We're not monsters. <laughs> But we have a secret weapon on our side. We do? Yeah, something that all creatures fear. Wait, you don't mean- Oh yeah, I do. But that's just too cruel. These are just dumb innocent monsters. <laughs> it's our only choice. If you say so. Hey, chicken! Well, that takes care of that. Yeah, but did we ever find out who is better? King Kong or Godzilla? Well, judging by that fight, it was kind of a draw. I mean, they both had their moments. Yeah, and it's all sort of a moot point anyway. What do you mean by that? When it comes to scary monsters, the chicken reigns supreme. Oh, brother. Oh, today is the day, is the day, is the day that I get my car. What day? Oh, today is the day, is the day, is the day that I get my car. Car? What car? You know how I'm old enough to get my learner's permit to drive. Heaven help us. I saved all my money for my own car! How were you able to save that much? Well, we haven't been doing much this past year, or hadn't you noticed? My car! What, did Carvana deliver it? Oh, Addy, you just have to see it! Nah, I'm good. If you ever want me to give you a ride to the mall, get over here. Fine. Let's go to the window. That's your car. 
What do you think? It looks kinda... Amazing, beautiful, adorable. I was gonna say it looks like a big pile of junk. What do you know about cars anyway? More than you. That thing doesn't even look like it'll start. That's because it's a true vintage car. A 1958 Plymouth Fury. 58 Plymouth Fury? I think I've heard of those before. You know how I'm obsessed with all things 50s lately. Yeah, I hadn't noticed. Well, this car will match my whole style. You're just jealous. Oh yeah, I'm so jealous of that big rust bucket leaking oil all over the street. You'll see. All it needs is a little bit of love. It also needs a new paint job, a new clutch, a new exhaust system. Hey, where'd she go? Hmm. There, all done. What's all done? Charlene, that's what's all done. Man, this thing's heavy. Charlene? What are you talking about? Oh, that's the name of my new car. New car? Looked pretty old to me. Not anymore. I fixed her all up. In two minutes? I told you, all she needed was a little love. This I gotta see. What? Jillian, how'd you do that? I told you, it just needed a little bit of attention. Attention? Jillian, cars aren't alive. Tell Charlene that. I don't know, Jillian. Cars don't just heal themselves. Charlene can. That name it sounds familiar to me. Let's see, 58 Plymouth Fury, the car can heal itself, and her name is... What is it? Jillian, that's not Charlene, that's Christine. You can't rename her like that. No, there's already a living car called Christine. So? It's in a book written by Stephen King. Never heard of the guy. The, the most important thing to know about Christine is that she's a killer car. You're just jealous because I have a cool car and you don't. Where are you going? Well, I'm just gonna go out there and- Hey, where'd she go? Oh no, she knows that we know that she's a killer car. Nah, I bet dad just moved her into the garage for me. I wouldn't go out there, Jillian. Don't be ridiculous. What's wrong, Jillian? Uh, nothing. Nothing at all. Hey, wait a minute. That sounded like a car in the hallway. <laughs> ah! The, the killer, killer do, Jillian? I don't know. How did it even fit in the hallway? I don't know. Maybe if it can fix itself, it can change its shape, too. You're the one who read the Stephen King book. Actually, I never read the book. Did you at least see the movie? Just the preview. It looked kind of lame. Well, do you at least know how to defeat the car? I think at one point they crush it into a cube. Well, let me just pull our handy car crusher out of the closet. We have one of those? We're saved! I was being sarcastic. Hmm, if it can be crushed, then maybe we can damage it. You know, like, throw stuff at it. Don't you dare get dents in my car. I think the bigger issue here is that your car is trying to kill us! Oh uh, yeah. Anyway, you're right. A few dents aren't gonna harm it. We need something that all cars fear. California emissions laws? Get a load of this. Nose drops? 
Salt water, Jillian. That car will rust out in no time. If you say so. All right, car, prepare to rust out. I think you're just making it angry, Addy. Get back! Get back! Back, I say! Ah! It must have rust protection! I'm gonna go on a limb and say that didn't work. What if we threw some tacks on the floor? You know, to pop the tires. Who has tax anymore? Ooh, what if we set it on fire? Um, for some reason, Dad gets mad when we set stuff on fire. Well, you said they squished it into a cube. How'd they do that? I think in the preview they showed him driving a bulldozer into it. You got one of those? I figured I'd buy a car first and work my way up to bulldozer. Jillian, you said you fixed that car with just a little love, right? Yeah. Well, maybe if you stop loving the car, it'll fall apart. I'm not sure if I can do that. Despite all its faults, I really do love that car. That car tried to kill me. Are you saying that you love that car more than you love me? Well... Ah, uh, come on! Wait, I have an idea. You never answered the question, Jillian. Charlene, if you want to live in this house, you gotta follow my rules. Ooh, sounds like something Dad would say. No more trying to run us over. Especially Addie. She's my sister. Thanks, Jillian. That means a lot. And unless you want to go back to the junkyard, you're gonna need to make yourself a lot smaller. Jillian, look! Isn't she cute, Addy? It'll make finding a parking space a lot easier. So all's well that ends well, huh? Yep, I have my car and she's not trying to kill us. Hey girls, I have a surprise. I'm afraid to ask. I got us a new dog. His name's Cujo. Come here, boy. Cujo? Oh, no. Come on, Cujo. Oh, come on. Oh, 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 oh. So are you? I'm gonna go trick-or-treatin'. Lots of candy, good for eatin'. Hopefully I don't get beaten. Dragged in the house, then skinned and eaten. Yeah, I'm just gonna stop there. Add some sugar, good for sweetening. No. Wait, you're going trick-or-treating? What gave me away? The costume or the jack-o'-lantern bucket? Addie, aren't you a little too old for trick-or-treating? Jillian, I'm gonna be 14 in December. Exactly. Don't you think that's too old? Exactly. This could be my last chance. Next year, I'll be a high school freshman. That's pronounced freshman. Whatever. Anyways, Dad says once you're in high school, you're too old for trick-or-treating. Oh, right. Because I'm certainly not trick-or-treating anymore, definitely not as a high school sophomore. That's pronounced soft-headed moron. No, it's not. Anyways, I'm going out trick-or-treating this year, and you can't stop me. What are you, anyway? You look like you haven't slept in weeks. Duh, I'm Virgil, the personification of anxiety. It's a pretty classic Halloween costume. Oh yeah, I remember Dad talking about how he dressed up like Virgil every Halloween when he was a kid. Never! You're just jealous because I'm trick-or-treating. Ta-ta! Jillian, there's a, there's a guy. <laughs> yep, you're doing a pretty good job portraying anxiety there. Jillian, there's a guy in our house. Yeah, his name's Dad. What else is new? 
No, Jillian, this guy had a hockey mask and a big machete and actually it was carrying one of these. That's kind of weird. Addie, that's Jason Voorhees. Is he one of your classmates? No, Jason from Friday the 13th. I don't remember doing anything on Friday the 13th with someone called Jason. You're gonna have to clarify. Oh, that's right. You don't watch movies. Allow me to clarify. A long time ago, there was a movie called Friday the 13th with a vicious killer named Jason Voorhees. Yeah, this isn't helping. So there's a killer in our house? Addy, it's Halloween and you said he had a bucket. He's trick-or-treating. Oh, oh, oh! So what should I do? Just give him a treat and send him on his way. Unless you want him to trick you. You probably don't want Jason to trick you. Treats, treats, where are the treats? I don't know. I don't have any treats. Jillian, it's Halloween night. You need candy. What did you hand out last year? I don't remember, but I definitely was not out trick-or-treating with my high school friends dressed as a female Pennywise the Clown. Well, we gotta give something to this guy. Do you have any candy around here? Hey, there's a treat. Ew, is that an old Tic Tac with a little bit of dog hair on it? Some people might say that, but I say it's a treat. Fine. Uh, hey, Mr. Voorhees. I got a treat for ya. Yeah, I'm just gonna set this down and, uh, be on my way. <laughs> Jillian, it worked! At least I think it did. Bravo. Well, guess I'll be on my way. This time I'm really going trick-or-treating. Uh-huh. Sure. Sounds like you got yourself another trick-or-treater. Dang it! Hey, little guy. Are you trick-or-treating? Ah, oh, he's threatening me with a jagged piece of candy! Jillian, I did- <laughs> What, did Jason Voorhees not leave? Well, he left, but someone came in his place, and it was just this little, cute, scarecrow-looking thing. Well, that doesn't sound too bad. Jillian, he pulled out this jagged lollipop and he brandished it at me. He brandished it, Jillian! A little, cute scarecrow with a jagged lollipop. Oh, that's Sam. Is this another neighbor, or is this another movie? There was never a neighbor. Anyways, Sam is from the movie Trick or Treat. And he's a little evil demon. Oh, that's so cute. No, it was terrifying, Jillian. You should have seen how jagged this lollipop was. That's his thing. It's what he does. Well, we gotta get rid of him. Do you have any more Tic Tacs? Let me check. Here we go. Huh? Huh? Dental floss? You're gonna give a trick-or-treater dental floss? Are you trying to get me killed? Not just any dental floss. This is Glide Dental Floss by Oral-B. Perfect for getting any kind of gunk in between your teeth. Wait, is this a sponsored video? No, but it could be. Call us Oral-B. Just give me the floss so I can send Sam on his way. Oh, hey Sam. Still here, huh? Yeah, I got you a great treat. I'll just set this here and be on my way. Well, I got rid of Sam. Congratulations, you win nothing! All I know is I get to go trick-or-treating now. Where's that bucket of mine anyway? Oh, Addy, that sounded like the doorbell. Maybe it's not a trick-or-treater. Maybe it's the Avon lady. Maybe it's the Census Bureau. Maybe it's someone trying to sell you an extended car warranty. No, wait, they call. Ugh, I better go check. 
look, I have a busy night ahead of me and... <gasps> ah, you're not the Avon lady or from the Census Bureau, are you? Wait, you're not! Ah! Jillian, Jillian, oh Jillian. It was someone trying to sell you an extended car warranty, wasn't it? No, it was like some pizza face type guy, I don't know. Addy, he could have an acne problem. You should be more sensitive. Oh, and he had this striped sweater and this glove where every finger had a blade on it, Jillian. Oh, why didn't you say so? That's Freddy Krueger. Is he another slasher from a horror movie? Because this is starting to feel like the night of the slashers. Actually, Freddy Krueger is our neighbor. What, you think he's baking a cake and he needs to borrow a cup of sugar? I was being sarcastic. Yes, Freddy Krueger's from a movie called A Nightmare on Elm Street. We don't live on Elm Street. That's the name of the movie. Anyway, he's a guy who can kill you in your nightmares. Well, that's reassuring. I can't even sleep now. I have to worry about Freddy Krueger and my nightmares. Yeah, that was kind of the whole idea of the movie. Pleasant dreams. Well, I need to get rid of this guy so I can go trick-or-treating. You got any more treats down that couch? What, you just think I keep an endless supply of treats down this couch? Yeah, that's kind of the pattern we've established so far. Let me see. Ta-da! Is that an egg? You keep an egg down the couch? Isn't that where everyone keeps eggs? No, because eggs are fragile and what if someone were to, I don't know, sit on the couch? Hey, I never thought of that. What makes you think an egg is a good Halloween treat anyway? Everyone loves eggs. They're versatile, healthy, and convenient. Wait, is this a sponsored video? No, but it could be. Call us Egg Council of America. Just give me the egg. Freddy, are you still here? There you are. Yeah, I got you a special treat here. I'm just gonna do the thing. Operation Egg was successful, I think. What if he didn't leave? Or worse yet, what if another trick-or-treater shows up, which seems to be the pattern? Yeah, what if another trick-or-treater shows up? I'm never gonna get to go trick-or-treating! <laughs> there, there, don't cry. Easy for you to say, your trick-or-treating days are over. How do I stop these people from showing up? You could put a bowl of treats on the front porch and they could just help themselves. Oh yeah, they'll help themselves all right, take the whole bowl and then the porch furniture. If you want to get rid of people, then you're gonna need a bio-exorcist. But Jillian, what is a bio-exorcist? It's an entity that can get rid of people. It's from another movie. Well, how do I summon such an entity, Jillian? You just say his name three times. All right. Bioexorcist, Bioexorcist, Bioexorcist. That's not his name. Well, do you mind telling me? Well, his name's a combination of that band that Ringo was in and what comes out of oranges when you squeeze them. Rolling Stones Blood? That's a weird name. No, it's Beetlejuice. 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 Oh no. Yay, the Bioexorcist is here. And there go all my troubles. Yep, all of your troubles are definitely over. <laughs> Is he gonna want a treat too? Eh, it's the least I can do for helping me get rid of all these people. Oh, Addie, you poor sad fool. Mr. Bioexorcist, I just couldn't thank you. <gasps> hey, how you doing, Tutsa? <laughs> are you the Bioexorcist? Oh yeah, that's me. Uh, thanks for exercising the bio, so guess you can go now. Oh, I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> ah, he's not leaving! Hey, how's old Beetlejuice doing? It's been a while. Jillian, the guy smells like he's been dead for 400 years. Nah, probably only since the late 1980s. Well, give me a treat so we can get rid of this guy. 
Oh, poor naive Addy. You don't get rid of Beetlejuice just by giving him a treat. Well, how do you get rid of him? Well, it's been a while since I've seen the movie, but I'm pretty sure you have to marry him. Oh no, I'm the bride of Beetlejuice! Oh wait, hold off on the wedding. There's another way. Thank goodness, because I look terrible in white. He can be defeated by a sandworm. A sandwich? And I thought the egg was ridiculous. No, not a sandwich. A sandworm. You know, like a worm that lives in sand. Wait, is this Beetlejuice or Frank Herbert's Dune? If only I knew how to summon a sandworm. Sorry, bye. I have an idea. But you better come along just in case it doesn't work. Well, why do I have to come along? I mean, what can I do? If it doesn't work, he'll marry you. Hey, how you doing, Tutsa? <laughs> Ugh, he does smell. So what's your plan? I got this. Sandworm, sandworm, sandworm! That's not gonna work. <gasps> Look! Oh, Beetlejuice, take a look over there. Finally, I get to go trick-or-treating. Wait, I'll join you. But you don't have a costume. Sure I do. Costume, costume, costume. All right, I'm ready. Ugh, I've created a monster. Happy Halloween! You're busted! Addy, what are you doing? Ah, the old sheet and beat never gets old. But why are you being so mean? I'm not being mean, I'm practicing busting ghosts. Of course you are. May I ask why? Cause I'm gonna make so much money, you won't even think it's funny. Yeah, I already don't think it's funny. But Jillian, I'm gonna make a fortune when people hire me to bust ghosts for them. You better sit down and explain your whole business plan to me. Already sitting. Wait, how did you do that? Think about it, Jillian. Every week we defeat a new monster and what do we ever get out of it? Uh, we get to survive another week? Yeah, 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 but besides that... Uh, isn't getting to live another week enough of a reward? I figure as long as I'm already defeating supernatural beings, I might as well make a business out of it. But a Ghostbuster? Where's your jumpsuit, your proton pack, your overpriced home office in Manhattan? Sure, I could spend a lot of money on all that stuff. And? Or I could just, you know, keep the money. Why do you need money anyway? Oh, I want to buy something big and expensive, you know, like Dad did when he bought that canoe. Dad didn't buy a canoe. You know, how he's always walking around with a canoe hanging from his face? Hanging from his... Addy, that's his nose. Oh. Oh. Hey guys, I'm going out to the mall. Anyone want to come? No? Huh? Alright. Hey, weren't we already Ghostbusters a few years ago? Yeah, that was for a music video about girl power. This is just a shameless cash grab. Who's gonna hire you to bust ghosts anyway? Lots of people. I placed an ad on Craigslist. Let me see. Looking for ghosts to bust. Reasonable rates. Short and to the point. This will never work. Your ad doesn't even ask for customers. Just ghosts. You were saying... Wait, you posted our address on Craigslist? How else are they supposed to know where to find me? 
You could have at least used your phone number. You know, like, who you gonna call, Ghostbusters? Ooh, that's a great slogan. How'd you come up with that? You still haven't seen the movie, have you? I can't keep my customer waiting. Uh, Jillian, do you mind coming here for a second? Okay, but I want a percentage. <sighs> Jillian, what is that thing? That's Zul, the gatekeeper. Also known as a terror dog. Oh, so he's just a nice little doggy? Come here, little doggy. <sighs> ah! Zul, the gatekeeper, aka the terror dog! I don't get it. Is he some sort of ghost dog? Zul's the demigod minion for Gozer the Gozerian. Who's this Gozer guy? Gozer's a Sumerian shapeshifting god of destruction. Geez, my ad specifically requested ghosts. Can't Sumerian gods read? Well, he's our problem now, and here you are without a proton pack. I've got something even better than a protein pack. That's a shop vac to the untrained eye, but the suction power of this can remove stubborn ghosts. But this isn't even a ghost, it's a- Shh. Shh. Stop doing that. It's time to take this soul to school. All right, Droll, or whatever your name is. You literally just said his name a second ago. See this? This is gonna suck. For you. Just use it. I don't think he understands English. Wait, that actually worked? Oh, ye of little faith. Alright, you got lucky that time. I guess even terror dogs are afraid of vacuum cleaners. What are you gonna do if a regular ghost shows up? Guess we're gonna find out. Jillian, what is that thing? That's Slimer, a disgusting blob of ectoplasm, said to be inspired by John Belushi. Wait, is he related to the great comic actor Jim Belushi? <sighs> ah! He's against nepotism! So is this slime ball another demigod? I'm pretty sure he's just a ghost. Are you gonna use your vacuum cleaner again? Nope, I have something even better. That's a hair dryer. To the untrained eye. But this one spreads negative ions, which are known to repel ghosts. But you don't really know this'll work. For all we know, this could- Shh. Shh. Stop that. It's time for this Slimer to get blown away. Okay, Slimer, it's time to retimer. Retire. You get the gist of it. Smooth. Okay. Wait, that actually worked? <laughs> Addies 2, Supernatural Baddies 0. You got lucky a second time, but I'm still a little worried. Why? Between my vacuum and my hairdryer, I can defeat whatever comes my way. But Addie, if Zol was here, then it's only a matter of time before Gozer the Gozerian finds us. I don't fear old geezer the vegetarian or whatever his name is. But Addy, he's literally the god of destruction. Eh, he hasn't met me yet. Uh-oh. It's coming from outside. Then I guess, let's go to the window! It's the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. That's the terrible gozer you were talking about? 
Eh, it's complicated. Don't worry, I have the perfect weapon for a big marshmallow. A pointed stick. Time to make some s'mores. Oh, he's already gone. Must have worked. I don't think it's gonna be that easy. Why are you such a pessimist lately? Gozer takes the form of the thing you're afraid of most. As soon as he realized you weren't afraid of a giant marshmallow man, he took another form. Wait, so now he's gonna take the form of the thing that I fear most? Addy, don't think about it. You need to clear your mind. Oh, Addy, you didn't. No, he'll just take another form that's even worse. What's worse than a bee? Come on! Come and get her, Gozer! Is it over? Did I get stung? Am I dead? Yes, it's over. No, you didn't get stung. And no, you're not dead. But how's this possible? There was a bee! Lucky for you, I had a little weapon of my own. A bee swatter. Or a fly swatter. I guess you can use them on bees. You saved me! Yeah, I'm kind of awesome like that. No more ghost busting for me. Craigslist ad? Deleted. The important thing here is that I was right. Jillian, what's wrong? You're staring down the hallway as if something is down there. I better go get my sharp stick. Oh no. Easter is over. Eggs are all broken. Candy is gone. Easter is over! Man, I get some pretty good sound out of this thing. Jillian, Jillian! Now what? Oh, Jillian, there's a big evil killer rabbit outside. Oh, of course there is. You gotta see it, Jillian. It's horrible. Fine. Well, do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? No. But it was right out there. Well, it's not out there now. You don't believe me. <laughs> Actually, it doesn't mean that much to me. Oh, I believe you, but what I think you saw was just a plain old backyard rabbit. You mean a six-foot-tall one that stands at your back door like some horrible trick-or-treater? Well, that's one idea. After all, it's almost Halloween. Stop trying to make Halloween catch on. It will never catch on! Besides, why would a rabbit be at our door anyway? <laughs> why indeed would a rabbit be at our door? You were trying to trap the Easter Bunny by putting carrots on the porch again, weren't you? What? Me? No. It was lettuce. Besides, Easter's over. Yeah, I know. Didn't you hear my song? Oh, I know you heard that one. Maybe. Let's go to the window. It's a giant evil killer rabbit! Wait, did I say it was a killer? Now do you believe me? No, despite being presented with clear and overwhelming evidence to the contrary, I still don't believe you. Really? Look, let's assume there really is a giant evil killer rabbit out there. Ah! Why do we need to do anything about it? You mean maybe if we just ignore it, it'll go away? We don't even need to acknowledge that it exists. Observe. La 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 It's worth a try. La 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 I guess we can't do this forever. 
So is he gone or what? Let's go to the window. Hey, that's my line. He's gone. There, problem solved. What was that? Sounds like one of those giant evil killer rabbits got in the house to me. If we kept our eyes closed and our ears covered and kept saying la 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 la, this never would have happened. Let's just go look down the hallway like we always do. Uh-oh. Ah! The giant evil killer rabbit's in the house! What are we gonna do, Addy? What are we gonna do? What, am I some sort of giant rabbit expert? You literally did a science project on giant rabbits last year. Oh yeah. So what'd you learn about rabbit invasions? Ooh, we can install a rabbit-proof fence, just like they did in Australia. Uh, the rabbit's already in the house. If the walls didn't stop him, then I don't see what a fence could do. I was thinking we could put it outside our doorway and electrify the fence. That sounds really dangerous. I mean, what if Dad walks into it? Ah, uh, he can take it. Well, what do you think we should do? Hey, remember that time Miska saw a rabbit in our yard? Oh yeah, she chased it away. So what's your point? Well, duh, we get Miska to chase the rabbit away. Great idea, but where's Miska? Oh yeah. Let's go get that bunny. I hope this works. Get that bunny, Miska! Ah! It's not afraid of natural predators! Nice plan, genius. I don't know why she didn't chase that rabbit away. Perhaps she knew she was in over her head. I mean, that rabbit is six feet tall. So what you're saying is we need a dog that's even bigger. For this rabbit, we'd need Clifford the Big Red Dog, but I don't think he does personal appearances. Who needs Clifford? We could impersonate a six foot tall dog. The problem is that neither of us is six feet tall. Well, duh. I'd sit on your shoulders and wear a trench coat. That rabbit wouldn't know it hit him. Wait, wouldn't I sit on your shoulders? No, we're not gonna dress up like a dog. Well, I'm all out of ideas. Maybe we should just ask the rabbit why he's here. Perhaps this is just all a big misunderstanding. All right, giant rabbit. What do you want from us? If you're selling Girl Scout cookies, we already bought a ton from our cousins. 28 days, six hours, 42 minutes, and 12 seconds. That's pretty specific. Is that how long you're planning on staying? That is when the world will end. Ah! The evil bunny is a harbinger of doom! So the dog didn't work, reasoning with it didn't work, what should we do next? There's something familiar about how he said the world was gonna end in 28 days. And 6 hours, 42 minutes, and 12 seconds. Although I guess it is less now. Hmm. There. I knew it. It's a line from a movie. So the giant killer rabbit's a movie buff. So what? So at least he didn't say hasta la vista, baby. No, in the movie Donnie Darko, there's a giant evil rabbit who looks just like this one. His name is... Frank. Frank? I'm supposed to be scared of that? It's the best they could come up with? I don't know, that's just what he's called in the movie. I mean, it's not even something cool. Why didn't they call him, like, Death Bunny? According to this, Frank means us no harm. Yeah, except for that whole part of ending the world. No, in the movie, Frank is a time traveler, and he's trying to warn Donnie Darko that he has to fix corruptions in the space-time continuum. And naturally, he takes the form of a big scary rabbit. It's kind of confusing, but it all started when a jet engine fell out of the sky. Hey, didn't something like that just happen? 
I think this rabbit's trying to help us. We better go talk to him. <sighs> Frank, we know you're trying to help us. Aw, oh, but why you gotta be so scary, man? I'm sorry. Did you say Frank? My name is Hank. Oh, well in the movie your name is Frank. Oh, Frank's my brother. Anyway, Julian, Eddie, I need your help. Did you just call us Julian and Eddie? Eh, wouldn't be the first time, am I right? Wait, you're not Julian and Eddie Darko? You know, a jet engine fell into your yard recently? Nah, those guys live the next town over. I mean, do we even look like a Julian or an Eddie? On second thought, don't answer that. Oh, sorry. My bad. So you don't need us to save the world? No? Face it, it's over, kid. That wasn't very satisfying. I mean, I was all ready to save the world. Really, though? Normally you don't even want to clean your room. Wait, I think he changed his mind. What's wrong, Pop? You look like you just saw a ghost. No, it was a giant rabbit. Oh yeah, that was just Frank. I mean, Hank. Yeah, he looks kind of scary, but he wouldn't hurt you. Well, that makes me feel bad. I just ran him over in the driveway. Nice going, Dad. He was supposed to save the world. I think he'll be okay. He had a little limp, but he did leave in a hurry. Well, I guess we'll know for sure in 28 days, 6 hours, and 40-something minutes. Huh, Julian? Oh, no. Stop it, dog man! Stop it, dog man! Stop it, dog man! No more dog man in my life. No more dog man in my life. <gasps> Stop it, dog man! I could wear these, or I could wear these, Ooh, or maybe I could wear these. Stop it, dog man! You know, I've put up with your stupid little games long enough, so now I'm gonna lock you up like, like a dog. <laughs> I know you're in there with your sad little doggy eyes. Well, that's just not gonna work on me, see? Oh no, you're not gonna whimper your way out of this one. And no scratching the door either. That's better. Who are you talking to? Jillian, how long have you been standing there? You were talking to yourself again, weren't you? For your information, I was talking to Dog Man. Dog Man? Is this some sort of imaginary friend of yours? No, Jillian, it's Dog Man. You know Dog Man. Everyone's heard of Dog Man. I have a feeling we better sit down for this one. So, about this dog man, why can't I see him? Can he make himself invisible? <laughs> oh, sweet naive Jillian. Dog man can't make himself invisible. Everybody knows that. Then why can't I see him? Because dog man's in the closet. Dog man's in the closet. Come on now, dog man's in the closet. There's a dog man in that closet? Can I ask why? 
You know how Dogman is, he just kept appearing in random places in the house. It's just getting really annoying. So you locked him up in our closet? Well, not so much locked him up as I just closed the door. Dogs have always had problems with opening doors. No posable thumbs. Even a dog man? Oh crap. Maybe Dogman does have opposable thumbs. We better keep our voices down so he doesn't get any ideas! Now, I'm not saying I believe you, but what exactly is a Dogman again? Jeez, Jelaine, it's right there in the name. Dog? Man? Half dog? Half man? You don't seem particularly concerned about it. What's there to be worried about? Dogman is perfectly harmless. Addy, both dogs and men have been known to occasionally do their share of damage. Uh, you're just letting a few bad apples spoil the bunch. This is Dogman we're talking about. He'd never- Addy, did you lock Miska up in there? No, it's Dogman, and he doesn't sound like his usual happy-go-lucky self. Who'd have thought that locking a cryptid up against its will would make it so grouchy? Let me see. No, stop. Don't. Don't worry, Miska. I'm gonna get you out of there. Uh, Jillian? I'm opening the door, Miska. Uh, Jillian? Not now, Addy. I'm trying to find... Miska. I was trying to tell you. She just walked in through the door. But if Miska's over there, then who's growling in the closet? Uh, Jillian, you might want to turn around. DOGMAN! Sorry, Dogman. This is her first real Dogman sighting. Ah, <laughs> uh, he seems a little surly! Addy, there was a half-man, half-dog in the closet. Yeah, uh, what part of Dogman's in the closet didn't you understand? He looks a lot more like a bear than a dog to me. We're not gonna go down that road. He's a Dogman. Just accept it. Well, what should we do about the Dogman? Wait, is this a sister conference? We never said sister conference! It's a conference and we're sisters. It's implied. Getting rid of Dogman's gonna be tough. Dogs are pretty territorial. Well, wait, isn't this Miska's territory? Miska should take care of this problem. Well, I'm pretty sure she ran out of the room when I left. She was just being loyal. I bet if we sick her on that dog man, he'll be gone in no time. Well, she is a pretty intimidating dog. Everyone knows that. Uh, Jillian, she's facing the wrong way. She's just showing Dogman which way's out, aren't you, Miska? <laughs> Alright, Dogman, you're gonna get it. Wait until we unleash this hellhound on you. Alright, Miska, go! Wow, she moved so fast you can't even see her. Uh, Jillian, she just walked down the hall. You mean she left us alone with... DOGMAN! So your Miska plan didn't work. It wasn't my plan, it was your plan. Man's best friend. Fooey! So are you ready to fold up newspapers and beat Dogman on the head? That's the kind of thinking that got us into trouble last time. He's not a dog, he's a dog man. Oh, so things that work on a dog won't work on a dog man. But what does work on a dog man? I'm glad you asked. Another dog man. Or dog person. I don't like where this is going. Just put on the dog mask. Fine, but you put on this dog mask too.
Jelaine, I can't see anything in this stupid mask. Shh! Dogman doesn't know these are stupid masks. So what are we supposed to do? Just like brush him or something? We just have to make it clear that this is our territory. So what do we do? Just strut around like we own the place? That's actually not a bad idea. Julian, this is cringy beyond all belief. Perhaps the dogman will die of embarrassment. Not if we do first. <laughs> ah! Dogman's not impressed! Well, that worked just great. I don't get it. That poodle mask's pretty convincing. Yeah, I guess Dogman ain't afraid of no poodles. Well, I'm all out of ideas. You seem to know more about Dogman anyway. And yet, this is the first time you've asked for my input. Thank you so very much. So how are we gonna get rid of Dog Guy or whatever his name is? We're gonna solve this the old-fashioned way. Dress up as knights in armor? We're gonna use a little good old-fashioned violence! Ooh, so I can use my sword. Let's go dog hunting. Dog man hunting. Ooh, right. Sorry, Miska. <coughs> Bad dog! I think that's dad. Better keep beating him just to be sure. Why are you dressed up like a dog? I was just trying this costume on for a video and I guess I got stuck. Why'd you keep following me around the house? I was trying to get you to help me and then you locked me in a closet and the rest is just a blur. Lack of oxygen from that mask must have caused you to revert to a dog-like state. Such is my understanding of science. Works for me. At least we can agree it's all over now and no one got hurt. I don't feel so good. I think I need to go to the hospital. No one got hurt. And no more dogs. Cartoon dog? Oh no.